ready for the short little kitty? No, short hurts. <laughs> well, it surely pinches a bit. But ironically, an anesthetic shot is given so that the patient does not feel any pain. Hmm, not falling for it? Hmm, then there is only one way to make you understand it. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us help Kitty to get a pain relieving shot by answering a crucial question. How does anesthesia work? Zoom in! Those who had surgery might remember getting a shot before the operation and going to sleep for a while. Then, within no time, waking up with the procedure already done. You might have scratched your head confusingly, wondering about the miracle that just took place because you have no memory of the entire process. And the best part, you didn't feel any pain. Well, that's because you were under anesthesia. A state where you don't feel any pain which is induced by medicines called anesthetics. Anesthesia can be broken down into three parts, local, regional and general. Out of these, which one you get depends upon your health condition and the type of procedure you're getting. Yes, for example, if you visit a dentist, the operator will inject a dose of local anesthesia into your gums as it numbs only a small specific area of the body. Due to this, the pain signals from the area don't reach the brain, making it insensitive towards pain. With local anesthesia, a person is awake or sedated depending on what is needed. Its effect lasts for a short period and is often used for minor procedures. But when it comes to other surgical procedures like an injury, the anesthesiologist will use a shot of regional anesthesia which is injected near a cluster of nerves numbing a large area of the body such as the arm, leg, waist, etc. As we know, the pain travels through the nervous system as electrical impulses. So, regional anesthesia works by building an electrical barricade. They do this by connecting to the protein in the neuron's cell membranes that allow charged particles to pass through in and out and block positively charged particles. And when it comes to major surgeries where the patient needs to be unconscious during the operation with no awareness of memory of the surgery, the person needs to be injected with general anesthesia that acts on the entire nervous system including the brain. General anesthesia can be given through an IV which requires sticking a needle into a vein, usually in the arm or by inhaling gases or vapors by breathing into a mask or tube. This is done because in a normal state, our brain's electrical signals are running in chaos as different parts of the brain are constantly communicating with each other, which helps us to stay awake. But under the influence of general anesthesia, those chaotic signals calm down and become more organized because of which the different parts of the brain stop communicating with each other. But there is still a lot we don't know about how these drugs actually work. Nevertheless, we are thankful for this great invention for turning the traumatic experience of surgery into a peaceful one. Trivia time! Did you know William T.G. Morton is known as the founder of modern anesthesia? 
Yes, on October 16, 1846, this Boston dentist used sulfuric ether to anesthetize a man who needed surgery to remove a vascular tumor from his neck. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Pinox, zooming out. Ugh, never mind. <laughs>